Hey guys, it's Mini Monday Madness. I'm getting into the Halloween spirit, painting up some cute little skeleton heads. This is so easy and fun to do. Um, I think you guys will really like it and it's such an easy tutorial for any beginner. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section. <laughs> um, don't forget to hit the bell notification button to know my tutorials are up. Also, don't forget to check out my Patreon. I have some cute Halloween doodles over there you can download if you're a Patreon member. So let's get started. Okay, for this fun exercise, I'll go over my supplies. I have my two three inch squares of uh, Arches 100% cotton cold pressed paper here. And I've already drawn my skeletons on here. My palette with my paints in there. It's a little messy right now, but paper towels. I have my water jars up here. And these are the paints. I go over them as I use them. Um, most likely be using my Princeton eight long round brush because this has a nice tip on it. Um, I'm going to go over how to draw the skeletons and I will get a nice little pencil here. Let's see if this one's dark enough. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in so you can see. Basically, you're just going to make a nice round circular shape. Then you just do a rectangle here. You will erase this part right here. And you're doing round eyes, big one, a small one, a triangle nose. For the mouth, you can put like lines like that. The hat, again, a little rectangle, rectangle, and little lines for the hat, the eyes. And then for the second guy, uh, well, actually, that's the hat is opposite. That's the second guy <laughs> has had, and I put a spider up here, just like another round, little legs. And we'll just put the spider there. And then the first guy, I sketched out the same thing. It's got a round skeleton, do like that. You'd erase this part. Um, the, f the first guy would have the mouth like this, basically rectangle, like the teeth, triangle nose, and the eyes. You can make them as crazy eyes as you want, but it's really simple, just like that. All right, so we'll put that aside. And we've got our two sketched out skellies. So we're gonna paint the skellies because it's already on a white ground. If you want to paint black around it, that's great, but then you get a black spider on one of them, so it might not show up well. So I'm just going to paint the skeleton basically gray tones. Um, I have this gray over here that I've already mixed up, and just black lightly, or you can add some blue tones to it, whatever works for you. I'm getting really loose, you see, so it becomes lighter. And the pencil, you can still see the pencil. I might take my kneaded eraser. If I could find it on my desk, of course I'm making the tutorial and I can't find it. Wouldn't you know I found, oh, sorry guys. Found my eraser on the floor. See, I do real time tutorials. I could edit it all out and give you a voiceover, but then that's kind of boring, isn't it? That's not how I like to. I've done some like that. I just feel like this stoic. So I've got this um, gray all washed down and I'll tap some of that water, excess water out. I'm just going to do the sides of his skull. Get a little more water in here. Just going to put that in there. The sides. See that? And then I'm going to clean up my brush and I'm going to push that gray paint around even more so. Just like that. Water it down. You can kind of do like a little more gray in here. Play around with it. You don't want to put too much because you want the skull to be white. But you gotta put the gray around to know that it's a skull. And you can add a little here and there, some deeper tones. I might add a little more blue to my gray and just throw that in here. It looks like he's got a, a beard or a mustache. I'm gonna just remove that paint right above the little mouth there. <laughs> I know, I look like I had a mustache. So I'm just going to do that. 
All right, we're going to let that one dry. I'm going to switch over to, I'm going to work at two at once, see? I'm going to do the same thing here. Just going to fill in this gray. Just around the skull area. Just lightly. You can add some deeper dark colors if you want on the edge. Trying to blend this in without making it have like a super hard edge. Again, you could add more blue tones. I'm going to add some blue tones. I just feel like that deep brownish gray is just not as pretty. Also, if you you could paint the ground back here purple or orange, and then you could just leave him white, so he wouldn't be so goofy gray looking. It depends on how you want to do it. And keep adding a little more color on this one side here, letting it bleed. Now, oops. It can get a little darker in some spots. It doesn't have to be super solid, pale gray. You know, it adds more interest. See, I'm just adding a little more darker tones in here. And a few down here. And I can go back in here and just see how it's, it just dried up. Hard edge. You're going to have to just take your brush with some water and just lift that up. So it blends. Just pushing that paint around. So it blends more. Same thing with this one. The water. So you got water color can get that hard edge if you don't push that paint around. It will just dry like that. You can try and like I said, like what I'm doing now is like take the water and put it around it and then try and lift it up. But if it's too far gone where it won't do that, well then you're stuck with the hard edge. But that's okay. I'm adding in some deeper grays. Just like I did that one, I want to do this one. Just filling that in. I like how that one went a little bit darker. Just around where the hat was. Again, I'm just going to blend that. See, it's a nice soft blend. Uh, I'm back, back and forth, back and forth. Okay, now the hat. Um, let's have fun with that. We'll do some orange and yellows. So I'm going to do like a light yellow orange. Grab whatever colors you have that would make that color. So I have some cabin yellow deep. Mix with a really brilliant orange. And you can just put the whole thing fill it all in and then we put that darker stripe in afterwards so in the bottom brim of the hat could be any color it could be purple it could be black so I'll fill that color in and I'll grab a deeper darker yellow orange I'll kind of tap that in the edge here let that blend in just with the tip of my paintbrush for the eyeball, it should be dry over here now. You can use the same color, or you can make a, a bright green, an orangey yellow here. One of the eyeballs could be orange, one could be green, it could be black, but I'm going to make them fun colors. So I have this yellow, looks like green. That limey kind of green. I think I'll do purple for the nose. So I'll make I mix my magenta, my peacock blue, or if you just have purple, you know, 
can use that and mix in the two colors here. Get my purple. Purple nose. See, get some nice fun Halloween colors. Now I'm not gonna go over here yet because it has to dry. So it's switching back and forth. <laughs> um, I might keep the purple nose in this guy too. Or maybe I'll put a black one in actually. I'm gonna put a black one in. Black nose. Purple black. I think I'll make his eyes bright yellow. Less orange, more yellow. Yellow. You can do a double. This one I had like the double circle, so I did like a yellow and an orange. So I fix, I fill in the yellow first, and then let that dry. And you can put the orange in the center, and then I put the bright orange on the other eye. Oh, these funny. And then we have the spider up here. You can go in and just fill this whole thing with pale gray color, dark gray, and then just tap in the black. So it's not totally solid. And put his little legs. I know they have like eight legs, so try and get the little eight one four on each side. <laughs> Looking cute. For the eyes, um, it's black. And you could have like put a little masking fluid or you could have painted around it, but I would just use gouache. Now for this guy's mouth, I go back with the black. This is an easy mouth. Just do a line. Doesn't have to be perfect. Little stitches. Right? Like a Frankenstein mouth. And then the, the rim of the hat can be black. It's so easy to do. I have a bunch of little cute um, Halloween doodles that you could download if you're a Patreon. Um, go over there. I put those out last week and you can use those. Now let's dry and go in and grab the orange and put the orange stripes in. Little hat. And then I would grab a little darker red or brown, yellow, orange. And just put that on the edge of the hat here. Just tapping in that darker color so it blends. It has like this nice, almost like 3D look to it. Just get a little darker on that orange right here. Don't think the eye is dry yet. I'm just going to do another dot in a circle. So pushing back and forth. <laughs> They can do the same thing with this hat. Get that yellow. Or it could be like light green and purple. We could do that. We could do the light green hat. And we'll wait till that dries. Let's check Trucy Green. Let's take all those Halloween colors. And we'll throw in the green. Okay, on the edge here. We'll do the purple. Well, this yellow kind of got mustardy, but that's okay. And these guys are still wet, so we can't paint the circles in there. This guy is still wet. I might bleed. This black hat. I'll put a little black on the edge here. You can write words on the side up here. Boo, eek, ow. You know, for the mouth on this guy. Got the funky teeth. Just go like that. Out do the outer lines and just shoo, there's his mouth. 
So what I'm gonna have to do is dry these guys because they're still wet and I don't want it to bleed because that wouldn't work well. And then we'll come back and we'll finish up their little bases. Oops. Okay, so I dried them. Um, sorry that these guys might have got a little cut off, but I think you guys can figure that out. Um, so basically, they're all filled in except the hats and the eyes. So for that, I would do the purple. Let me get some more bright, brighter color here. This purple seems to be really dull. I don't know why. There we go. Do the purple here on the brim of this guy's hat. And I'll take the nice bright green going stripes going across the hat. I wasn't gonna do purple but I decided to keep it kind of in the green tone like I did with the other one. Orangey yellow. Then you could just take I'm trying to get a nice black paint. Doesn't want to incorporate. Um, you could just do the dot, crazy eye dot here. Right? Same thing on this one, crazy eye dot. But then on this one, I'm going to do another circle in here that's darkest orange. I get rid of a lot of this excess paint. And same thing with this one. A little darker. I could even put another red dot in there. Woohoo! And then that will dry. We'll put in a black dot. And then the spider. Like I said, you could put. I have. I already have some white gouache on my palette. Just put it over in here. Just get that a little bit wet with the spider. Gosh, can go right over the for the eyes. Big, big, goofy eyes. And for his mouth, if you can't use, if your brush is too big or you don't have a small enough brush, you could always use a pen. Make a little smile. like that and like I said you can write little words you can do boo you know might want to put which I didn't draw I'm gonna paint out God, it's so wet so I'm removing the paint because it's really watery I'm trying to make some cute letters. Boo. Right, and you could do like eek. E. K. Eek. Just like that. And the exclamation point can be colors like orange, the yellow. <laughs> And then now that the the eye should have been dried, I kind of make them like googly eyes. It's kind of how I like to do it. Oh, that one's still wet and bled a little bit, but that's okay. I can always just fix that. And how we do that? Choop. <laughs> and then I go back in with the paint. And then the boo. See, it's dried. Once this dries, you can put in little eyeballs. I would use like gouache. 
Oh, if you have acrylic paint, either one, you can put eyeballs. Mine's still a little too wet and it's bleeding, but I'm trying to show you, so. You see the eyes? It looks like boo. And when this dries with the little spider, you can stick in little dots. And then you can just go in and like, go in and add little tiny little details. If you want to have your um, brim of your hat, have little stripes on them this way. You know, play around. You can do little stitch lines on his face, like you did with Frankenstein here. Same thing with the black out here. Put some more little lines. Again, I'll just clean this up. I think his eyes are still wet. I can't put his little dots on. But you just put the little dots for the spider eyes. Very tiny. So, I hope you guys enjoy this little Halloween mini Monday madness. You can write in the words, but I hope the skulls are fun. <laughs> you could do a million of these different hats, witchy poo hats. You could put, you know, other little creatures, worms coming out of their eyes. It can be a lot of fun. Play around with it, have some fun with it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to hit the bell notification button to know my tutorials are up. Um, also check out the Patreon. Like I said, I have a bunch of little Halloween tutorials you can download if you're a Patreon member. And uh, take care, guys, and I'll speak to you soon.